for this problem, we look at, we have um, an equation. And crap, man, we have, oh, we have a fraction, we have a number on the bottom, and I just don't know what to do. So a couple things you're gonna look at when you're solving equations, um, especially a two-step equation, I'm gonna show you why this is a two-step. The first thing I always wanna do is the reverse order of operations. You remember order of operations should be, you know, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Well, when you're solving equations, you're gonna to wanna to use it the other way around. You're gonna to wanna to first try to do adding, subtracting, multiply, division, and square roots, or your roots and your uh, or powers and your parentheses. But we're not gonna use actually those processes. We're gonna use the inverse operations. So what I'm talking about the inverse operation is kind of like the opposite. So if I look at the opposite of, or if I look at my addition and subtraction, I notice I have addition going on here. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. And the main thing you need to remember uh, when you first learn about this is, you know, you always gotta keep your equation equal. So if you're gonna subtract a one on the left side, you have to make sure you subtract a one on the right side. And that's called our subtraction property of equality. Well, a one minus a one gonna give you zero. And that's helpful because what that just did was that freed up some space here on the left side. And what I, my eventually what I'm, why I'm doing this is I wanna get this x by itself. Because I wanna say x equals something. Because then I can actually find the value of my x. So now the next thing I look at is I say, all right, what has happened to this 36? I'm sorry, what has happened to the, what is the 36, first of all, doing to my x? Well, you look for an addition sign and a subtraction sign. There's none of those, that got taken care of. And we know that whenever we write um, as a, you know, something looks like as a quotient or as a fraction, we can see that division is going on. So to undo division, I'm gonna have to use multiplication. Now, a lot of students get max, mixed up with this because they don't understand how this cancels out. I can rewrite this like this. Okay, all I'm doing is I'm just changing how, you know, 36 times x divided by 36. Well, 36 divided by 36 is one times x equals 36. We never have to write one times a number. So that's how we get it. So that's how you solve a uh, two-step equation.